there was a good steady flow of people. The annual open house event is always popular and busy because there's so much to do. The day includes lunch, fire truck ride-alongs, demonstrations, meet the team of nearly four dozen firefighters. We can recognize the community to see what we do. We're very proud of our organization, the community we serve, um, and this is a chance to show that off. The firefighters on a specialized team stood on top of the fire station and showed the people how they train for a technical rescue. Acting Fire Chief Aaron Surratt says these skills are useful to have. We were recently uh, assisting Becker at the Excel Power Plant a few months ago where we had two high angle rescues we assisted them with, um, one at approximately 500 feet in the tower and another one at approximately 250 to 300 feet with somebody stuck in an a exposed elevator um, in sub-zero temperatures. So time is of the essence um, and we've really got to give Becker Fire Department uh, kudos. They, we, we work with them close because with the paid on call service, we don't know who we're going to get at any point in time. One of the things they're doing right now is they're doing a safety check. Everything we do is in redundancy. So we have two lines in all of our rescuers or victims. They will check the system, make sure that it will be able to withstand their weight or anything like that. We had to uh, lower down to, well, we had to climb up 500 feet then lower down to the elevator where they were stuck in. Um, it was like a two-man elevator, so it was in an industrial setting. So we had to lower down to that and actually bring a harness down and have them hook into a harness and then lower them down to about 250 feet where they climbed down. So he's hooked into two ropes. One is the main line, one is the belay line. The belay line is the safety line. So in the event of one failing, the other one can take up the slack tie off the lowering system so he can't go down any further and then they'll lock off his belay line which is the safety line so he won't fall. However the victim is moving and now you can see the victim's systems, his ropes are now loose. So all of the weight has been transferred over to the rescuer's system. Alright so now that he's got him hooked up he's locked him off and they're going to lower him, both of them down to the ground. And it appears my victim decided to play unconscious. <laughs> so on top there, there's one guy running the lowering system. Lieutenant Lees is our team leader. He's the edge master in this incident. We have another person running the backup line, which is the belay system. And we have another person that's just being a general safety. And now they're on the ground. So at this point in time, we would transfer them over to the EMS crews, the EMTs and paramedics. And our fire, the job of the firefighter is done at this point. Shortly too, so stick around. Thank you. Another team opened a car with the Jaws of Life tool during the extrication rescue. Um, so we want people to understand they need to focus and pay attention, keep their speeds down, um, pay attention, focus on driving, not their cell phones, everything else going on. Uh, because with the extrication demo, if we show up with the big red truck to cut you out of your car, it's a bad day. Um, we don't want anybody to experience it. So we're hoping that demonstration uh, will make people aware of um, what can happen if they're not paying attention while driving. I'm going backwards. Yeah, we're gonna go Young and old get to see, feel, and hear the things a firefighter experiences when answering a call. <laughs> we have electricians, we have plumbers, we have mechanics, um, every facet on the fire department that I think makes us a stronger team together uh, to figure out what to do and, and make it a better situation for those who called in their emergency. Yeah.